Boxing star Manny Pacquiao says he will run for the presidency of the Philippines next year. We are ready to rise to the challenge of leadership. Pacquiao leads a faction in the ruling PDP Laban Party. On Sunday, he accepted the nomination of his political allies and spoke out against corruption in government and President Rodrigo Duterte's relationship with China. We need progress. We need to win against poverty. We need government to serve our people with integrity, compassion and transparency. This happened just days after a rival faction nominated Duterte's aide of over 20 years, Senator Christopher Goh, as its presidential candidate, which he declined. That faction also nominated Duterte for vice president, a move that some critics called a cheap trick by Duterte to retain power. I am hopeful that this will allow me to continue serving the Filipino people and help the lead the entire nation towards greater progress. Pacquiao's faction has not supported President Duterte's vice presidential bid. Duterte is prevented by the constitution from running for a second term of six years as president. Pacquiao, once a close ally of Duterte's, has said more than 10 billion pesos in aid intended for poor families during the global health crisis was missing. That's around $200 million. Pacquiao's anti-corruption campaign also comes as the Senate opened an investigation into the alleged raising of prices of medical supplies and equipment purchased under the government's pandemic response program. Duterte has challenged Pacquiao to name corrupt government offices. Pacquiao is one of the greatest boxers of all time and the only man to hold world titles in eight different divisions. But despite his popularity, he is still behind others in opinion polls. The most popular person has consistently been Sarah Duterte Carpio, the president's daughter.